Hi guys, welcome to Jalayer Academy's first video in algebra. For this first video, we're going to keep it really simple. We're going to introduce uh, concepts of solving one step equations. Okay? So, what does a one step equation look like? Let me choose a black font. Perhaps something like this. x plus 7 equals 3. Okay, So the idea here is to get x alone on one side of this equality and to get the numbers, the constants, alone on the other side. Now you can choose which side you want to put which, but the idea is to separate them. Okay, So in this case it's quite convenient to take the 7 over to this side. Now how do we do that? This is just the concept. The actual application of this is you have to take the inverse of this constant. So in this case it's plus 7. So the inverse of plus 7 is minus 7. This is oftentimes called the additive inverse. Okay, And so we're going to plus 7 here and we're going to I mean minus 7 here and we're going to minus 7 on this side. And we'll draw a little line here. Now what do we have left? x plus 7 minus 7 is 0. And here we're going to end up with minus 4. Right? And we can just rewrite this as x equals negative 4. And that's our answer. Okay? So let's just do, let's just keep doing examples. So here we'll use another variable. I want you to get used to seeing different letters and not get too intimidated by things like that. So y minus 2 equals 4. Okay? So again, it's pretty clear that we should be taking this 2 to the right. In order to take minus 2 to the right, we have to add 2. That is the additive inverse. Okay. So we plus 2 on each side of the equation, and we're left with y plus 0, because minus 2 plus 2 is 0, and 4 plus 2 is 6. So y equals 6 is our answer. And notice we can plug this y equals 6 in place of the y here and we get 6 minus 2 equals 4. So that works out. And going back to our first example, we can plug this negative 4 in for x, and we get negative 4 plus 7 is positive 3. And that works out. Let's do one more example here. And uh, let's do something with multiplication and division. So in this case, we'll have x divided by say 4 equals 3. Okay, So here this is slightly different than the first two examples we did. Now let me label these 1, 2, and this one will be 3. Okay, So in these cases we wanted to move the 2, the minus 2 to the right and in this case we wanted to move the plus 7 to the right. Now in this case we don't have a plus or a minus, what we have is x divided by 4. So the inverse of division is multiplication. So what we have to do here is actually multiply both sides of this equation. And this dot, for those of you who are not familiar, is another way of writing multiplication. Especially useful when you have a uh, variable x because x kind of looks like the multiplication sign that we use in arithmetic. So 4 times x divided by 4, which is what I had here, equals, and we have to do the same thing to both sides, 4 times 3. Okay, And I can put these in parentheses just to show you that these were the original things we had, things in parentheses, and we multiplied both sides of the equality by 4. So when you multiply here, 
4 of course is the same as 4 over 1 right we just don't write this 1 for conventional purposes so we're, we get over here 4x which is the same as 4 times x over 1 times 4 is 4 equals and on this side we get 12 now we know that we can cross out these two fours because four over four is equal to one right so x equals simply twelve and now let's check this let's put twelve in place of x We get twelve divided by four and that surely equals three okay let's do one more example with the space we have here and in this example we'll take it slightly higher in difficulty we'll do three halves x equals 20 okay so in this example if we just use the same method we used here which was we take the inverse and in this case we're multiplying uh, x by this fraction here, right? I can put a dot there or I can leave a dot out. Either way, it's multiplication. So what I have to do is take the inverse of this because it's multiplication, this will become two thirds times what we originally had equals two thirds times what we originally had on the other side. So notice we multiplied each side of the equality by two-thirds and why did we do that? Because that was the inverse operation of this constant that was multiplying uh, by, we were multiplying our x by and this way we'll be able to get rid of this constant over here and we'll only have x remaining on this side. Let's see that happen. So two times three we can actually write this one out 2 times 3 is 6 x and 3 times 2 is also 6 equals 20 over 1 is 20 is tw equal to 20 over 1 so we just I'm just writing that down I'll stop writing that in later videos as we get more comfortable with it so this is 20 times 2 which is 40 over 3 times 1 and 6 over 6 on this side is simply just 1, so we'll just have x equals 40 over 3. And if we need to make this a mixed number, we can on the side do a little division. We get yeah, subtract, bring the 0 down, that's a 10, and we get 3. 9, 1, so we get 13 and 1 third. So x also equals 13 and 1 third. These are both answers. Okay? So 13 times 3 is 39, and 3 times 1 third is 1. So that's 40. That's why these two are equivalent to each other. Okay? And that's a 1. Okay? Now, if we were to plug in 40 over 3, in place of our x, we could do that over here. Check. Question number four. We get three halves times 40 over three. We're putting in place of our x equals 20. Now, we can cross out, simplify our multiplication. There's one two there and there are twenty twos there so we're left with just twenty equals twenty. Okay, So I hope this was a good introduction to solving simple one-step equations. We basic idea was to move, uh, er, uh, separate the variables and the constants and get uh, the variable alone on one side of the equality and we saw it with addition, subtraction, division and with multiplication so 
next videos we'll do slightly more complicated uh, equations maybe with two steps and uh, till then subscribe to the channel check out the other tutorial videos comment and practice 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 have a great day bye